April 15th. Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with your precision forecast. Nice day today. Temperatures warming up nicely. We had light winds. It was windy last night. Then we had a breeze this morning. Then winds went light, and then the wind picked up and shifted as a cold front came through. So you get a lot of changes during the spring months. But boy, it turned out to be pretty nice today. A lot of sunshine around the Treasure Valley. Let's take a look at my three degree guarantee. I said we hit 64 for the high today. We actually hit the high temperature just after noon as the cold front was going by. We hit our warmest temperature, 66, and then it dropped down to 60, and then around 62, 63. Pretty nice afternoon. A little bit of a breeze from the opposite direction. Tomorrow will be a little cooler now that that front has come through. Here are the other high temperatures around the area. 63 in Ontario with the front coming through earlier here. It stayed cooler, but it warmed up nicely out ahead of it in the 60s. You see the cooler weather, the blues to the north and west. 45 in McCall, 55 Sun Valley Stanley at 51 degrees. So spring like temperatures indeed. And so far this month, here's how the temperatures have been shaping up. Here's Idaho to the east of Idaho, and usually warm 8 to 15 degrees above normal and dry. Of course, we've had a good deal of rain across the Pacific Northwest, two to four degrees below normal. We've been right in the middle, so we're averaging out pretty much right about where we should be, although some mild weather finally beginning to move back in. We've had certainly some extremes during this month. Speaking of spring, got the allergy report to come out. People have already been complaining about pollen. I checked the numbers of the Boise Valley Asthma and Allergy Clinic. We're already into the high category at 110. The beginning of the pollen season is the tree pollen. So it's juniper and cottonwood are the prime pollens out there right now. We'll go from tree pollen and eventually to grass pollen in late June into July, and then the weeds and the end of the weed season is the sage. So if you're allergic to pollen right now, it is likely you're allergic to some type of tree pollen at 110. We'll keep an eye on this for you as well. Here's a satellite picture showing the cloud cover beginning to increase in the Magic Valley right now. You'll get some cloud cover tonight. I think precipitation, you see it just starting here, it's going to increase across southeast portions of uh, of Oregon, and that will begin to track in our direction. As it does, it'll just kind of clip the western part of the state with a chance for a rain shower, maybe even a, a brief thunderstorm in eastern Oregon, although it's not that unstable. It's a possibility we get into that time of the year. This moisture will go through likely overnight tonight, even before sunrise tomorrow, and then we'll increase the sunshine. But early tomorrow morning, don't be surprised, in the western part of the state, we have a little cloud cover when you wake up. In fact, we'll see it right here in my future cast, uh, calling for those showers to develop this evening in eastern Oregon. And then as we head towards tomorrow morning, you see that a shower go right on by in a line from McCall down to Boise Mountain Home, tracking to the east. This is 8 o'clock in the morning. I have a feeling this might be a little bit overdone, but we'll keep an eye on this for you. The bottom line is you may have that brief shower in the morning. After that, we're in pretty good shape to get a good deal of sunshine through the day on Friday. Go ahead to Saturday morning. There's still going to be some cloud cover around. Our temperatures are really going to be warming up over the weekend, but keep in mind, I don't know how much sunshine we'll get on Saturday. We'll be in and out of the clouds, depending on where we are. I'll update this again tonight at 10 o'clock. On Sunday, it really looks like the clouds will shift to the west. A surge of warmth will come in. It'll almost feel like summertime on Sunday as the temperatures warm into the low 70s. And it's not out of the question to see somebody hit the mid-70s during the day on Sunday. So a little cooler tomorrow by a couple of degrees, but mild weather building to the west will surge in as we head towards the weekend. So Saturday and Sunday looking real nice. Near 60 tomorrow, increasing sunshine, a light breeze, wind should stay on the light side. So not a bad day tomorrow. We'll get a lot of sunshine after that chance for a morning shower, especially Ada County eastward in the West Central Mountains. Overnight tonight, early tomorrow morning, you may get that shower or snow shower in the higher peaks. And then uh, temperatures in the 40s and 50s during the afternoon with partly cloudy skies. The day will improve as it goes on. In the East Central Mountains, you have a chance for a shower during the morning hours. And then we'll have the mixture of clouds and sunshine. 50, Stanley and Sun Valley, 47 in Fairfield. And the Magic Valley tomorrow, you had nice weather today. I think you'll get some decent weather tomorrow with a mix of sun and clouds. Light winds, 58 to 64. Nice day in the Magic Valley. And it gets nicer over the weekend for the Treasure Valley. Look at this weekend forecast. 68 on Saturday, as high as 73 degrees on Sunday. And I'm telling you, I don't see a lot of wind. I mean, it's a possibility we can get a breeze, especially this time of year when you warm things up and you get way above average. Uh, the air starts to shift all around. It doesn't know what to do. It's just not <laughs> used to it, basically. And you've got the cold ground. And you have all these temperature contrasts. It gets a little breezy. But I really think we're going to see a decent weekend with temperatures getting to 70. Boy, it looks that way. Nice. I don't remember what that feels like. It's you been will. a while. Yeah. yeah it is. All right, thanks, Scott. Next on today's Channel 6 News, live at 